up everybody men and women boys and girls what is going on it's saturday uh i actually got off of work early because some of our equipment went down and they're like hey go home i was like bet you were gonna tell me twice <laughs> anyway so i was gonna rip a different product today but as i stopped off at the mailbox to check the mail because i did get an email so if you guys have seen, um, I have on my channel, so you can make different, I guess, playlists. And I have a playlist called Card Immunity Playlist. And I put a bunch of the Card Immunity videos in there. Um, and if you guys saw the gift, the birthday gift that I sent to Rad from Red and Dad, it was the Jose Altuve Auto. Um, I pulled that out of something called the Boombox. So before I made my channel, so I... Let me see. Let me backtrack just a little bit. So I stopped collecting years, like a long time ago. Then I got back into collecting around 07, 08. And then I went on a hiatus of collecting and started back collecting again in 2017, 2018. From 2017 up until now. Um, but I, I've only had my channel since last, since 20, since mid, late 2019. But I started collecting again in 2017. Anyway, um, around 2017, 2018, I found a product called the Boombox. Um, and I saw that product on a channel called Jabs Family. I'm sure everybody knows who Jabs Family is. He's actually the channel that got me back into collecting. But the more and more that I watched him, the more and more I saw what kind and what type of person he was. Um... And I just grew to not like that type of person that he is. Because, I mean, he's more in it for, I guess, you can say profitability and YouTube fame than actually being an avid collector. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to go there with that. But long story short, I got back into collecting around... 2017, 2018, and like I was saying, I discovered a product called the Boombox, and that's where I pulled that Altuve Auto that I've been sitting on that I sent to Rad and Dad. It was actually going to go into one of my mystery packs in my Series 2, but I knew that Rad from Rad and Dad and B-Dog was a big Altuve fan, so I was like, you know what? Um, he'll greatly appreciate that I'll send him that for his birthday. Then also, if you saw... Um, Oh, excuse me, guys. If you saw my 50 sub... Oh, excuse me. No edits, but anyway. If you saw my 50 sub giveaway, you would have saw that awesome Tony Gwen rip card. Or No, it wasn't for my 50 sub. It was for my 75 sub giveaway. You would have saw that awesome Tony Gwen rip card numbered to 75 from Allen and Ginter that 401 breaks one. I also pulled that out of a boom box. Um, and then there's another channel called Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. And I sent him two really cool optic Anthony Rizzo cards, which I also pulled all out of the boom box. Um, and this was all before I had my channel. But it's been a long time since I subbed to the boom box. Well, I just resubbed, and today. I have my first boombox from I just resubbed to them and here it is the boombox. This is the uh ch cheapest and smallest boombox. I think it's like 39.95, 59.95 and then they have a 99.95 or something 
of that nature. Um, if you go to their website, it's the boombox.com or something like that. You can see their different prices. They do football, baseball, and basketball. But I said, what the hell? They've been pretty good to me in the past. I'm going to go ahead and, and do another subscription to them until I get tired of it like I did the last time. So get ready for this rip. We're going to do a boombox here. Got my trusty, dusty stabbing knife here out. Okay, let's put that away. And we're going to get into this boombox. And we got peanuts and some literature. So here's the literature for that. Here's the peanuts and everything. We're going to go ahead and get these peanuts out. Throw them in the trash. Peanuts out. And let's see what packs we got here. So let's look at this. Literature first here, it says, February's Baseball Boombox, featured products, 2020 archives, two autos, hit odds, one in 12 packs. I love, is that, yeah, I love archives. Archives is cool. Uh, then we have 2020, I'm going to get two, three hits, hit odds, one in eight. Hopefully I can get another rip card. Then we have 2020 Heritage, high number, one hit, hit odds, one in 24, that's not that good in the 2020 series 2020 series update hobby one hit one in 24 share your hits with us and there's their social media so let's go ahead and get in to here i might end up get oh there's more peanuts in here oh nice so see there are more peanuts in there and i'm probably going to end up saving this box i might use it in a mail day or something like that it's a smaller one this is actually the smallest one i've ever gotten so uh, i'm thinking the subscription i used to have was a 60 dollar one because i used to have more uh or a, a bigger box but they give you a a screw down one touch or something like that yeah so we have here bowman draft from 2014 that's cool is that a hobby that is a hobby that's cool Look forward to getting into that. Then we have uh, Allen and Ginter. That's also a hobby from 2020. We have a Topps Series 1 from 2020. That's also a hobby. We have uh, Archives Baseball 2020. That's also a hobby. Cool. These are all hobby packs. And then we have a 2020 Baseball Heritage, uh, which is also a hobby. And then we have a 20... 20 heritage high number uh don't think that oh yeah that one's a hobby too and then we have the heritage minor league i'm not sure if that one's oh i think that one is a hobby it sure is so great so we're gonna go in the order that i have it here so we're, we're gonna start with the with the uh draft the heritage minor league i'll let you see the odds there and let's get the rip and rip this here open up here and um so if i show anybody good um comment down below because i'm not real familiar with the minor league players but we have a ryan weathers uh, game one, Bobby Bradley home runs, home, home run lifts Clippers. Then we have a uh, Miguel Vargas, a strikeout leaders Chris Bubik, Joe Ryan, and Tark Scubo. Never heard of any of these. We have a uh, Tristan Casas from the Red Sox. Not sure if he's any good. Like I said, comment down below if any of these guys are good because I'm not real familiar with these guys we have a uh, heloit ramos uh brennan davis and we end with a bow nailer all right now we're gonna get into the heritage high number again i'll let you see the stuff on the pack there no purchase necessary. All right, let's go ahead and get in to this one. So a lot of people say this is hard to open, but I just opened that pretty easy. And the card on the back is freaking awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get a stand for that one here. 
get out a couple of stands and I dropped one on the floor. Great. Get out a couple of stands here. We'll put one right there and then we'll put another one right there just in case we need that one. But the first one is a Austin Vos. Then we have a Scott Heineman. And check this out, guys. There's a purple in there. We have a Jimmy Cordero. Then we have a, a higher Adranaza. And check this out. A Kenta Maeda. Is that numbered? No, it's not. But that's still pretty dope. It's a purple. We'll put that one there. I'm telling you, man, these boom boxes have always been good to me. Then we have a Ricky Performers, Mauricio Dubon. That's a nice one. And then we have a Lamonte Wade Jr. Never heard of him, but I know Big D is a Twins fan, so if he's any good, man, let me know. Then we have a Quang Young Kim. And check this out, guys. We have a Lou Bob, a Luis Robert rookie card. So that one's pretty nice. We're going to stick that one right there. There's the Lou Bob. Pretty nice. Now we're going to get into this regular, this regular heritage. Here we go. There's the odds for there. Uh, and before I go any further, I want to give a quick shout out to my beautiful daughter, Shayla Marie. She has a YouTube account, but she doesn't have a channel. But she is responsible for both of my awesome new intros, as well as Beaver Breaks' new intro, which is so dope, dude. Their new intro is so dope. I watch their new videos over and over just to, just to see their new intro because it's so dope. So kudos to my daughter. She's She gets her talent from me. She's very talented, but love the new intro. Right, let's get into this one here. All right, we start off with a Renato Nunez, a Luis Severino. That's a nice one. A Seth Lugo. Marwin Gonzalez, uh, Brian Anderson. Here's a cool one. Shout out to Rad from Rad and Dad, to George Springer. Shout out to B Dog from Rad and Dad and B Dog with the Domingo Leyva and the Josh Rojas rookie card. An another Josh Naylor and a World Series champion, the uh, Washington Nationals. Cool. We're actually going to save that archives. We're going to get into this. 2020 Series 1. Show you the odds on this and the no purchase necessary, which I'm sure is probably over already. Yeah, it says by September 23rd, 2020, so it's already over already. But you never know, you might still be able to send in some stuff, and you never know. We start off here with a, oh, and I'm hitting the camera. So we start off here with a Sin Su Chu, an Adam Halsey, and then we have a flip here. We have a Brian Goodwin, and another flip. Come on, tops, get with it, man. We have a Chris Shaw, a Will Myers, Kevin Newman, Brian O'Grady. Dude, there's a lot of. Sideways cards here. A Garrett Cole. That one's pretty cool. Adam Duvall. A lot of landscapes, man. Baltimore team card. Here's a Juan Soto. That's is a Tops now. Juan Soto. That's kind of weird. I guess that's... Okay, here's a nice Clayton Kershaw. I'll take that. Nice one. And then we have a Cole Hamels. And we end it with a Braves New World. That's a cool card there. Is that Albies and Acuna? Yeah, that's a cool card. Next, we're going to get into this draft. We're going to do the archives last because it's out of all these packs, it's my favorite looking product. Let's get into this draft here. We have a Vincent Velasquez. 
from Houston. Our Brian Anderson. Oh, here's a nice little shiny card. Austin Dakar. Nice little Bowman Chrome. Is that numbered? No, it's not. But that's still a cool looking card. And we have a Lane Thomas. I have heard of him. That's a nice one. It's a blue. Oh, and that one's numbered. Check it out, guys. It is numbered 164 out of 399. So that's pretty cool there. For the Blue Jays, shout out to Spidey from Aranya Boys. He's a Blue Jay. Well, he's a Bo Bichette fan. I'm not sure if he's a Blue Jays fan, but that's pretty cool. That's a nice one. And then we have a Austin Meadows. Is that like a new Austin Meadows? Because I know the old Austin Meadows. That's a nice one, though. A little chrome. And then we have a Ian Clarkin and a Aaron Brown. I actually think I have an auto of this guy, Aaron Brown. Let me, let me see. I think I do. Somewhere here with my other autos here. I sure do. Check it out. So look, I have an Aaron Brown here from the Phillies. Regular card. And then check it out. I have an Aaron Brown auto. This one's going in one of my mystery packs. So that's pretty cool. See? I know what I have. I know what I have. All this stuff here is going in my mystery packs. So all my hits. So that's pretty cool. And then we're going to get into this Allen and Ginter here. Allen and Ginter. I know Beaver Breaks likes Allen and Ginter a lot. Oh, and I like the card on the back. Oh, so check this out. I'll take this for my PC. We have a Ernie Banks. I will take that. And we have a Jack Flaherty. I've seen this one pulled. A Scurry, I believe he's a soccer player. We have a Paul Goldschmidt. That's a nice one. Uh, Dobbins. Who's that? J oh, J.K. Dobbins. That's cool. Check this one out. Raleigh Fingers. Oh, and we have a mini here. The mini is Ty Cobb. Shout out to the Boy Sticks G. I know he'll love that Ty Cobb. So I'm probably going to end up sending him this one. I, I know he'll love that. So shout out to you. And then we have a Nico. No, 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 no. Nico for the PC. So that's pretty cool. All right. Put that Ty Cobb right there. All right, guys, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack mojo here. We are already got that cool Maeda, the Lou Bob. We got the number card from Bowman. Let's see if we can get some last pack mojo. Uh, like I said, the boom box has always been good to me. But uh, before I had my channel, like I said, I got the Altuve Auto. I got the rip card. But you guys never saw that because I didn't have my channel so i'm showing you guys now i like the boom box they've always been good to me i've always pulled fire from the boom box and check this out we start off with a john smoltz awesome card there and then we have a daniel vogelbach it's a big dude man we have a mike moustakis the moose is loose who's that andrelton simmons that dude looks like he's Upset. That's a cool looking card there. We have a Michael Chavis. Shout out to beat to uh, Trader Abe's. They are Red Sox fans. Ooh, check this one out. Polar Bear, dude. That is so cool. Pete Alonzo. That is dope. I do PC Pete Alonzo, and I also PC this guy here, Joey Votto. And this is one of my favorite PC players right here, Juan. Soto, that is freaking awesome. That's definitely going in my PC. All right, guys. Well, and I'm knocking over Kenta Maeda with my big ass hands. Check that out. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on this rip. We're almost at 20 minutes. This video went a little bit longer than I expected it to, but hey, dude, the boom box produces again. So I am going to continue to have my subscription to the boom box because I pull nice stuff out of there anyway if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that sub button ring that bell give me those thumbs up because they do help the channel all right guys thank you for joining me on this cool rip 
Much love, respect, hope everybody has a great night, a great day, and wishing everybody a very happy Valentine's Day. It's your boy, the Matt Hatter, out.